Today I'm gonna to be talking about five tips for new meditators. If this interests you, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, welcome. I talk about spirituality and intentional living and all of the little things that you can do to create the life of your dreams. I help people navigate their spiritual awakenings. If these are things that interest you, hit the subscribe button below because I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. I get a lot of questions about meditation, what things mean, how do I do this or that. I already have a really good video on how to meditate, meditation for beginners, so I will link to that below. If you haven't seen that, it will probably help you a lot. But today I'm going to specifically talk about five tips that I have for new meditators who aren't sure what to expect or that might help you with your practice. Just little things that I've learned along the way that help and I think they'll help you too. Each of these things kind of feed off of each other. They all kind of work together in one way or another, but I'm going to separate them into five different things. Number one, after you've been meditating for a little while, a handful of days, a handful of weeks, whatever the case may be, you may find yourself feeling woozy when you first open your eyes again. This is normal, completely normal. This is just a matter of your, your brain acclimating to the new frequencies it's feeling and the new neural pathways that are forming from all of the benefits of meditation that you're experiencing. This is normal and it won't last. This is just part of the upgrade that you're going through. Number two, closed eye visuals. I've done a whole video on this, so I will link to that as well, but closed eye visuals are those images and lights and patterns that you see when you close your eyes. And I think the technical term for those is phosphenes, P-H-O-S-P-H-E-N-E-S, -E phosphenes. And this is not uncommon that they will greatly increase after you begin meditating for a while. You might see this amazing light show behind your eyes, a whole kaleidoscope going on. And that's a pretty cool thing. Enjoy it while it lasts because it usually doesn't last all that long. Number three, you may start to experience some kind of vertigo type symptoms like dizziness, loss of balance, the whole room just kind of whew, you know shifts. Um, this is a little bit different than what I mentioned in number one. In number one, I'm talking about when you're just done meditating, you hit that 15 minute mark or however long you've been doing it and you open your eyes, you feel kind of like, Ugh. what I'm talking about here and number three is like, I remember when I first started meditating and it's happened again recurrently anytime that I boost my meditation and start going at it heavier. You go through this phase where like I would be driving and all of a sudden I'd get really dizzy for two seconds, you know, or I'd be walking across the room and it would feel like the whole room would just be like and like shift and I'd be like, whoa, what was that? And it doesn't last long. This is also just part of the neurologic upgrade that you're getting from the meditation. Completely normal and just keep pushing through. It won't last long. Before I move on to the next point though, with that being said, you may also start to experience some ringing in your ears that's normal as well and it will not last that long. Days, weeks, it won't last long. Number four, you may experience yourself going deep is what I call it. You're not sleeping, but you're just not there. You're out of it. You know, the bell will ring at the end of your meditation and you'll come to and be like, whoa, like what happened? <laughs> like, I don't remember any of that, I was gone. And I get a lot of messages asking, is this normal? Was I sleeping? Or how can I improve my meditation because I feel like I'm sleeping through the whole time? Well, I mean, are you sleeping? Are you actually falling asleep and you're snoring and you're drooling all over the place? Or are you just going deep? Because going deep is awesome. That is one of the good parts of meditation where you're really changing those brain waves and you're getting in there. Now, you might not ever go deep. You might rarely go deep. You might always go deep. Everybody's different. And your job is to not judge what's happening or what you're going through 
or how your body's reacting. Your job is to just put your butt in the seat and be willing to meditate. Your soul, your spirit will take care of the rest. Last but not least, number five. I have found it very helpful to do what I call getting back in your body before you open your eyes. When you first start meditating, and like I talked about in number one, you get woozy when you first wake up or whatever, like that could last quite a while. Like it might last a couple of hours if you don't come out of this right. So, you know, you just walk around feeling all spacey and your head's in the clouds and just woozy or off. And that's because when you're meditating, you know, you're going somewhere else and it's hard to rein your soul back into this physical body. And so part of you is still out there floating a little bit. My tip is when you're done meditating, before you open your eyes again, get very, very tactile, get really grounded into this physical reality that you are in again. Rub your fingers together rub your eyes. I found it very helpful to rub my eyes. Don't open them, but just rub them, get physical with them. Um, wiggle your toes, feel the carpet, move your muscles, stretch your arms, get really tactile with your body and with the physical environment around you, and then open your eyes. And that will help you a lot. Those woozy feelings don't always last. It's really when you first start meditating or when you've really boosted your practice, um, as I talked about, but this will really help you to manage that with minimal symptoms. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and share this video if you think it might help someone else. I hope you guys have an amazing week and weekend. TGIF, right? All right, talk soon.